On the issue of gun violence, I will say, as I've said countless times, we are not sitting around waiting to figure out what the solution looks like. You know, we're not looking for a vaccine. We know what works on this. It includes, let's have an assault weapons ban. You know what an assault weapon is? You know how an assault weapon was designed? It was designed for a specific purpose, to kill a lot of human beings quickly. An assault weapon is a weapon of war with no place, no place in a civil society. I, first of all, um, sorry, you first of all right, tell right, me what right. is an assault rifle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, is assault rifle? what is an assault rifle? I'm sorry, are you stupid? No, what is no, 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 what is an assault rifle? You know, sp very specific. No, no. What is a an assault rifle? No, what? No, no, no. I'm very curious. Stop, please, guys. What is an assault rifle? It's a military grade weapon. So you do realize that every member of the military has a pistol. So you call a pistol a military grade weapon? No, actually, I'm not. I'm not talking about pistols. In case your ears are. I said AK. Wait, no. You said what? An AK? What? Classic. Wait, you said. When a bullet comes in, like what happens to the insides of a body? Well, no, no, no. The inside of a body when you get hit with the assault rifle. What? No, that's right. Please, please, trust me. What? What? Hey, guys. What is an assault? Assault rifle. All right, guys. So I believe the question of what is an assault rifle when it comes to the gun control conversation is literally the exact same, the equivalent of the what is a woman question when it comes to the gender conversation. Okay, you know how the left can't tell you what a woman is. They also can't tell you what an assault weapon is, right? Or what an assault rifle is. Okay, uh, they have no clue that <laughs> there is a specific uh, set of criteria that you have to meet in order for a rifle to be classified as an assault rifle, okay? That means it has to be capable of select fire. That means it should be able to be switched back and forth between semi-automatic and automatic. And there's also a bunch of other criteria as well too, right? For it to technically identify as an assault rifle, but they don't know that. They don't know that, okay? All they know is that it looks scary. It looks like it's used in the military. So therefore, it must be a weapon of war. Because if you listen to the left's definition of <laughs> assault weapon, uh, you could probably categorize <laughs> all guns as assault weapons, okay? Because again, I could say that, hey, you know, the pistols that they carry in the military are assault weapons because uh, <laughs> they're used in the military, right? According to the Democrats. And if you don't believe me, uh, take a look at Joe Biden actually calling for uh, banning uh, nine millimeter handguns because apparently they are high caliber weapons. And they showed me a, 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 a X-ray. He said a 22 caliber bullet will lodge in the lung, and we can probably get it out. Maybe able to get it and save the life. A nine millimeter bullet blows the lung out of the body. So the idea of these high caliber weapons is of, that there's simply no rational basis for it in terms of about self-protection, hunting. I mean, I just, I remember, the Constitution, the Second Amendment, was never absolute. Yeah, so according to Joe Biden, a 9 millimeter pistol, which is probably the most common uh, handgun in this country, okay? In 2019, I think 56% of handguns that were made uh were nine millimeter pistols right he is calling that a high caliber weapon okay probably uh the same pistol that all of his security detail is is carrying on them okay um again he's saying he wants to ban those things right and if a nine millimeter uh caliber is classified as high caliber weaponry then my 40 caliber bullets here uh must be weapons of mass destruction, right? They must be weapons of mass destruction. They might cause an earthquake in this bitch. Okay, I'm just saying. According to Joe Biden, okay. So honestly, guys, I don't know if the Democrats have been ignorant on this topic on purpose, okay? Because Kamala called for an assault weapons ban again, assault weapons, assault rifles, whatever you want to call it. Um, but the assault 
rifle ban that Joe Biden implemented back in the 90s uh, didn't work, right? It didn't reduce gun violence. It also didn't reduce mass shootings. It didn't work, but yet they're calling for something that objectively didn't work, okay? George Bush let it expire for a reason. Didn't work, okay? Um, so with that being said, I, I think what they're trying to do here is that they're trying to play off the emotions of, you know, some people who may be more ignorant about this stuff in the American public, right? They're saying, hey, we just want to ban the scary military looking stuff, okay? While using terms that de technically could be defined as, as a catch-all, right, for all guns, right? That That's basically, it, it seems like that's what they want, right? And again, Joe Biden here saying that he wants to ban a 9mm pistol, one of the most common guns in this country tells you exactly what the democrats want they want to ban handguns and they want to ban so-called assault weapons okay but they're changing the definition of assault weapon or assault rifle to again include all guns right that's what they're actually doing here okay they're not trying to actually ban assault rifles because fully automatic weapons which is a part of the definition of what an assault rifle would be a full, it would have to be fully automatic like a machine gun uh has been banned from civilian use okay since like the 1930s okay so <laughs> technically it's already banned right uh but you know hey um democrats don't know that or maybe they do know that they just think that the public is ignorant but when democrats talk about banning assault rifles what they're actually really talking about is banning what we call modern sporting rifles okay like the semi-automatic ar-15 okay <laughs> when they say they want to ban ar-15s they're saying they want to ban modern sporting rifles but calling it a modern sporting rifle to actually the real term that is actually used the correct terminology that doesn't sound as scary as assault weapon right or assault rifle again the democrats are playing political games with the ignorant base they actually really do think that their base is dumb and this is why they play games like this okay i don't think they're that stupid okay this is politics uh again um that, that is what they want to do and our neighbor up north okay the dictator up north uh, Mr. Justin Trudeau is a step ahead of them, right? As he came out and announced a legislation to freeze handgun ownership and buy back assault style weapons in Canada, right? So Canada is doing what the Democrats want to do here in America, right? So if any of you guys want to know what the Democrats actually want, they, they want us to be like Europe and they want us to be like Canada, right? So the things that they do, Okay, we're just a few years away from the Democrats trying to do, right? That's what their rhetoric will be eventually, okay? Again, Joe Biden basically called for banning one of the most common handguns in this country, okay? Claiming that it can blow out your lung, right? That's what this guy is, is talking about. So with that being said, let's actually watch a clip of uh, the dictator up north, uh, Justin Trudeau, announcing this legislation that would freeze handgun ownership in Canada. Take a look. We're introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership. What this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy, sell, transfer, or import handguns anywhere in Canada. In other words, we're capping the market for handguns. As a further part of this new legislation, we're also fighting gun smuggling and trafficking by increasing maximum criminal penalties and providing more tools for law enforcement to investigate firearm crimes. And we'll require the permanent alteration of long gun magazines so they can never hold more than five rounds. These are actions that doctors, experts and chiefs of police have been calling for for years and we're acting on their advice. I also want to thank the advocates, many of whom are here today, for your tireless efforts. I know that for too many of you, Greece, grief and loss are at the root of the work that you do. I want to recognize that, and on behalf of all Canadians, I want to thank you for your strength. Yes. All right, guys, so I guarantee you, uh, the term freeze will be the new phrase and terminology that is used by the Democrats in regards to their policy proposals for gun control, right? We want to freeze, not ban. We want to freeze 
handgun ownership, right? <laughs> and, you know, ban uh, assault style weapons. That That is what they're going to start to say, right? That's what they're going to start to say. And this is what Justin Trudeau is doing here, the dictator of North. But I want to read a little bit more about this. Uh, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced Monday that his government is introducing legislation to, quote, implement national freeze on handgun ownership throughout the country. Quote, what this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy, sell, transfer, or import handguns anywhere in Canada, Trudeau said at a press conference. We recognize that the vast majority of gun owners use them safely and in accordance with the law, but other than using firearms for sport shooting and hunting, there's no reason anyone in Canada should need guns in their everyday lives. So this guy's basically saying, look, uh, you don't need firearms if you're not hunting, okay? Or shooting for some type of like sport or competition. Basically saying you don't need it for self-defense. You don't need it for self-defense. <laughs> boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, you know Canada is a backwards country. Uh, look at how all the politicians are still wearing masks in the background. <laughs> yeah, this is this is Cocoa Puffs. Uh, Canadian Minister of Public Safety Marco Mendencino also said that a mandatory buyback program for assault-style weapons will go into effect later this year if the bill passes, calling it Canada's most significant action on gun violence in a generation. But so basically, um, any. Uh, guns, right? Assault style weapons, basically any weapons that look scary, right? That look scary and look like they're used in the military. Uh, they want to buy those back. The first AR-15s and other assault style firearms will start to be bought back by the end of this year. Uh, Mendocino said it's going to be hard, but we're going to get it done. About 55,000 new handguns have been registered annually in Canada per year over the, the last decade. Mendocino said, the legislation will also create new red flag laws that will allow courts to remove guns and suspend licenses for people who pose a threat to themselves or others. Magazines that hold more than five rounds will also be banned under the new laws. In August 2020, a gunman used both rifles and handguns to kill 22 people around Nova Scotia in what was Canada's deadliest mass shooting in history. Yeah, so... um. I think that this is going to lay a blueprint for what the Democrats here in America are going to try to do, right? This is what they'll be saying in the next two or three years or so, right? They're not going to say that right now, except again, Joe Biden did basically come out and call for the banning of, uh, you know, one of the most common handguns in this country. But um, <laughs> I, I believe that from a policy perspective, realistically, they're going to push for a so-called freeze, which basically means that anybody that doesn't have a handgun right now uh, probably won't be able to get one. It will be illegal for them to uh, acquire one and they won't be importing any more into the country or, you know, selling them anymore or doing any of that anymore. OK, uh, that is, again, the, the policy direction I believe that the Democrat Party is headed in. And it is absolutely insane to think about how. Canada, the same country that literally almost basically <laughs> waged war against his own citizens during the pandemic, right, um, is basically now banning them from being able to defend themselves against a tyrannical government, a government that has shown that it will be tyrannical against its citizens, okay, uh, which is why we have the Second Amendment here in the United States. Again, it is just really, really, really crazy uh, what's going on in Canada and the news that comes out of there really is shocking, right? Um, from the sense that this is happening just north of the border and because it's happening just north of the border, uh, it will have an influence in American politics because best believe everything that Canada is doing, that is what the Democrat party wants to do, right? That is what they dream of doing, right? That's what they want to be. They want us to be like Canada. They want us to be like Europe. So, uh, with that being said, uh, expect Joe Biden and the Democrats to now talk about, you know, putting a freeze, right? on um certain weapons so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace